I did not expect for me to be making one of these videos, but y'all know what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, I'm gonna tell you right now because I owe y'all a huge explanation so there's no more confusion about anything. So most of you guys already know, you've probably seen it on Gabby's video, you probably seen it on TikTok, TikTok Room, any app that it probably got put on. But if you don't know, no, it's not a joke. No, it's not a prank. Me and Gabby have broken up. That really sucks to say. <laughs> I'll be real, me and Gabby, we broke up a little bit ago. We just kind of kept it private because we wanted to like, I don't know, like keep something private. A lot of our relationship is public, so we wanted to keep it low key as possible just for the time being. Cause we still just didn't know when the right time was to say it. I didn't want to hurt you guys. I'm sure she didn't want to hurt you guys either, but it got to a point where you know, I'm working in LA. Gabby had moved back to Florida by now. She wasn't really feeling completely herself there while being kind of still attached. She didn't want all the why aren't you in LA comments and where's Andre and all this type of stuff. So I understood. For me personally, I wasn't exactly ready to say it yet because yeah, I didn't want to dis I didn't want to disappoint anybody. These things happen, but it's disappointing to me as well. It's like embarrassing to me. I never had to break up in front of the whole internet before. So this is something that's not exactly normal for everybody. But you know, if this was bound to happen, we would have had to speak on it anyway. So she pretty much felt she needed to finally say something so she can fully focus on herself. And I get that. I understand that. So I went ahead and said, okay, I think I was like, I was in the middle of something. She calls me and says, hey, you know, nicely asked me, is it okay if I make the video about the breakup? And I'm just like, you know, okay, go ahead. We gotta say it soon anyway. Kind of being mindless about it, not really thinking about it. But as soon as that got posted, you know, on TikTok room and wherever, it hit me so hard that it's real. I know we broke up beforehand, but it's like, it's, it's actually, it's actually happening. Another thing I wish I didn't say to her when she asked me to make the breakup video was if she could make it on her own. I really wish we could have made it together, but I don't even know when I was gonna be ready for that. So that's kind of how it all played out when it got all on the internet and you guys found out. But now I need you guys to listen to where I'm coming from and why I feel like we broke up. Yes, Gabby said she wanted to break up with me, but it was a conversation we were both having that was leading up to that. So, so I knew it was coming. I think it needed to happen. Like Gabby says, she felt like she lost herself. That's what made her lose her happiness. And she has said it for a while, even in the Endless show. She admitted that she does feel like she was losing herself the entire time being in LA because she had to leave her entire old life for me. But I really quick want to address that so it's not sounding so negative. Never force Gabby to come to LA and share an apartment with me. That's not... Who does, who is doing that? We're super young. We're still figuring out each other in the relationship. Us rushing to move in together while trying to figure each other out still, we set each other up. And many people told us this, we were moving way too quick. I was already living in LA and I remember wanting to move into my own place. And this was the time Gabby was debating where she wanted to move, whether she wants to stay in Florida or come here. But she gave me this idea of, hey, we should move in together. That way it's easier for our content. That way we can be around each other all day and all this stuff. So I'm like, okay, cool. That actually sounds good. You're gonna be at my house either way. So in that moment, we were thinking that's the perfect way for us to get to know each other better and work better together, but no. All that did was point out our personalities even more. I fully know this girl more than most people. She fully knows me more than most people. Honestly, to me, this was not a good idea. I think we should have went with me getting my own place and then her getting her own place in LA and then we visit each other whenever we want. That probably would have helped that way we still had space or if we got tired of being in each other's face all day, we can go back to our houses. I feel like that would have helped way better in our relationship, but it still could have gotten to the point where we're at now. End of the day, we were still in this young relationship, feeling like we were in a marriage, stuck with each other. And that's not how you really should feel in your early 20s. You should be feeling a little more free and getting to experience a lot more. We both didn't have that. I never had a serious long relationship where I live with the person or stay with the person and neither has she. So it was a lot to get used to but again like she said she wasn't happy in the relationship but I was not happy exactly either my problem is pretty much her problem just in a different way we're both just trying to grow and find ourselves and I still have a lot of growing to do but some of my unhappiness was because the relationship was really got to a point where it was really draining I feel like we gotten so used to being around each other our personality started jumping out a little more. We started to argue a little more. That led us to wanting to go out with our friends more away from each other just to come back to argue again because of that happening. So it was just like a domino effect and it just got so draining to me. I just felt like I'm wasting 
a lot of my young life on this girl I'm not even married to. You know, I can go out and do other things and I, cause I haven't. So I don't know anything, you know, about being like a young adult going out and, you know, enjoying himself with his friends and going to meet new people at like a bar or a club or anything. I don't know what that life is like because I, you know, tie myself into this relationship that's not exactly, you know, normal because we're influencers. Our jobs is to make content and doing things for social media, which is very public, not really going out and doing things private. She hasn't gotten to do that either. So these are the things we're finally gonna get to do. No, this is not me saying we're both trying to go find someone else to date. We just both need to go live life and learn new experiences by going out and not always being stuck with each other in the house and feeling like we're just miserable all the time yes we argue but every couple argues you know i'm not gonna bring anything negative up that she's done or i've done we have both end of the day have been really good to each other i appreciate her for never doing me dirty let me find out but i appreciate her because i know she would never i know i would never so i just feel grateful i was in a real relationship that was taken serious because this is not a joke like yes we met on tiktok but we were still a real relationship. We had real feelings, we had real talks. There was so much going on off camera that you guys didn't know about. Cause I know it looks great on the internet, like we're just madly in love, unproblematic. But guys, I started dating this girl the first day I met her. I didn't even know this girl like that. You know, it's like, I pretty much dated her the whole time learning to know her. And now we're just at a point where we gotta know ourselves again. We kinda feel like we just lost it all. It is what it is. I'm really just very happy the relationship did not end on bad terms. Nothing bad, no drama, I'm not with that shit. We took our relationship very, very serious. So I hope you guys took our relationship serious as well. I know it sucks finding out all this like, what? I thought they were like, I thought they were fine. You really think any relationship is fine? No, there's problems. We're all, we're, we all got problems. We all a little crazy. First and foremost, I've been seeing a lot of comments saying Andre doesn't care. He's out here living his best life while Gabby's crying in the corner. That is not true at all. Me and her both mentally handle things differently. Yeah, my way to cope with things is to laugh. Like, I don't like being sad. Who likes being sad? So that's the way I'm dealing with it because it wasn't a terrible breakup. It's not too sad. Like, we both mutually broke up. I don't really like to show my emotional side on social media. So anybody saying that, y'all need to stop because that girl was everything to me. I don't like wasting my time, so I took her very serious. Some of y'all think we broke up because of the Endless show. No, we did not break up because of Endless. I will say Endless helped point out all of our problems at once. I'm actually super grateful Endless happened because I needed this all to be pointed out so we could stop questioning like why we weren't happy. So this was, again, bound to happen. It was a blessing and a lesson. It just sucks so much, bro. I don't understand. Moving forward, as you guys seen, Gabby has her own place in Florida now, but I'm pretty sure she's coming back to LA for her own place. I plan to stay in LA and get my own place at the same time as well. So we're low-key kind of doing what we could have done at the beginning of our relationship. But again, things happen for a reason. So it's all good, it's all good. We're still really good friends. We still talk here and there. So yeah, of course, I'm definitely excited to chill with her as a friend when she moves back to LA. And we can kick it, make content like we did before. Not exactly like we did before, but you know what I mean. And lastly, I just want to say this. This is actually for Gabby. Thank you for making me the man I am today. You've helped me learn a lot what it takes to be in a relationship. I feel like I didn't know what I was doing. You taught me so much, whether you know that or not. Yes, we got to this point where we weren't super happy being around each other anymore, but for the majority of it, I was so happy being around you every day. I still wish I could be around you every day. Like, I don't know, man. Coming back here to yourself really sucks. So it's like, damn, it kind of hits me harder because I know, like, I really lost this girl. Why am I crying? This was a big lesson for me as well for you, but you are really a blessing in my life. I really hope you continue to stay in my life even just as a friend. Thank you for being the best supportive girlfriend. I really almost took that for granted because you were always there no matter what. Yeah, I appreciate you still. Just don't forget about that. I still care about you. I don't know, this could be a right person, wrong time moment. You know, I don't know. This could be a wrong person right time moment who knows hopefully not but i'm hoping we can come back to each other in the future and you know work something out maybe we'll see how life goes i don't know but my whole future mindset was just this girl i'm gonna get married to this girl i'm gonna have kids with her 
it was only it was only her. I only think about her. I don't imagine myself with anybody else. So, um, I'm gonna end the video right here. Okay. Well, I hope you guys completely understand now. This is actually better for us. You know, we are actually happier this way. I know I don't look happy right now, but we are happier this way, giving each other space finally. Please, anybody watching this, do not let our relationship make you believe less in love or want to not be in a relationship ever or just kind of discourage you from the whole thing because we're still the same people. We're just no longer Andre and that's okay. I don't want you guys to be sad feeling like there's no point of love anymore or any of that like Nah, we don't know what's gonna happen in the future So no matter what we both do though I just hope we're both happy whether she gets with somebody else whether I get with somebody else I just really hope we take what we learned into our next relationship fully completely happy with that person. So yeah, guys, Swilly Gang, all you guys, I love you so much. I love y'all more than anything. Definitely want you guys to stick around and see what's in store for me in life. Like I said, I want to keep active on my channel so you guys can stay updated with me. Thank you to everyone who supported our two year long relationship. It's crazy we even lasted two years. That is a super long time. That doesn't happen a lot for people. So I think that's pretty cool. But I'm excited for what's coming next in my life. I'm excited to meet new people, do new things, go new places, everything. I'm doing okay mentally. I'm going to get better. Right now, I'm, I'm a little struggling, but why wouldn't I be, you know? So, you know, you know. I feel like I said enough. If I didn't, please comment down below anything I missed. If you have any more questions, comment down below as well. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for understanding everything. And yeah, stay tuned for what comes next. All right, bet. I'll see you guys on my next video. Hey.